Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Captain Skrill. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the best PvE build for Mythic Plus. This build is going to do an insane amount of AoE damage, and you're going to be able to run these keys with ease. We will be going over the Hunter talents, the Marksmanship talents, the stats you'll need, stat priority. We'll be going over the enchants, and we will be going over the rotation. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Today, we're going to try something to make the video a little bit quicker. We are going to go over the main talents that you will be needing for this build to do the most amount of aoe damage as possible and the most amount of dps as possible and grab serrated shots you only get one point in this because you're going to come over here and grab hydra's bite but you put one point in serrated shot serpent sting and bleed damage increased by 10 percent this value is increased by 20 percent against targets below 30 percent health helps with master marksman and it's going to help with your bleed damage and your serpent sting damage when you have hydra's bite so you want one point in there and then we're going to come over here and grab death chakrams so you want it for that 10 percent more damage for you and your pet but in this build you do not run pet in pve so you just want that 10 percent damage for you and obviously death chakram so you have death chakram explosive shot salvo and volley so you have that like 45 second go every time for big mobs so it's really really good come over here and grab explosive shot so it fires an explosive shot at your target after three seconds. So it'll explode dealing 75,000 damage to all enemies within eight yards. Deals reduced damage beyond five targets. Sometimes if your tank's pulling a lot and they're really good and they know the mythic, you can get more than five targets. But this is still a really, really good for marksman shit hunters and that AOE to get that DPS up. Then over here, we're going to grab Serpent Sting. So we grab Serpent Sting so we can grab Hydra's Bite. So Serpent Sting fires arrows at two additional enemies near your target. And its damage over time is increased by 20%. And then this also helps with serrated shots as well. So you can throw uh, Hydra's Bite onto three targets. This is really good. You just really want to press it once to keep it on the targets while you're doing high mythic keys. Because in high mythic keys, the mobs are a lot tankier. So... The serpent sting damage will be ticking a lot more so this is what you really want you can grab latent poison if you're like struggling on bosses but if you know the mechanics for the bosses you really don't need super super high damage you want the high damage to time the key for the mobs right that's probably the hardest part if you know all the mechanics for the bosses the damage isn't really going to be a big deal usually right i've only timed a 15 key so far i just got back into pve and this is the build that i've been running and it seems really good so i just wanted to share it with you guys but yeah maybe at higher higher keys you want to take poison injection but i think hydra's bite for the aoe damage for the mob density and that high dps is going to be what you want to take for now all right we're going to move over to the marksman talents come over here and grab multi-shot fire several missiles hitting your current target all enemies within 10 yards for sixteen thousand. Physical damage and deals reduce damage beyond five targets. So usually five targets is what you're going to be attacking. You will be attacking more sometimes, but sometimes those aren't elites. But most of the time, five targets is a real is what you'll be hitting in mythics, depending on which dungeon you are doing. Then you want trick shot. So when you multi shot hits three or more targets, your next aim shot or rapid fire will ricochet and hit up to five additional targets for 70% of normal damage. So this is a big, big, big key for your AOE damage and your high DPS in these high mythic keys. Then obviously you want volley. So you rain volley of arrows down for six seconds, dealing up to 93 physical damage to enemies in the area. And you gain the effect of trick shot for as long as volley is active. So this is what you want to get trick shot. I'm going to come over here and grab bullet storm. So each additional target you rapid fire or aim shot from trick shot increases the damage of your multi shot by 7% for 15 seconds, stacking up 10 times. So that's a 70% additional damage from multi shot. So you want to use multi shot when you have that maximum of stacks. And you, it's just like when you use aim shot, you get two charges of it or one charge depending on what procs, right? So you want to use multi shot when you have that maximum damage for it or else in your burst window you just want to be using rapid fire and making sure trick shot is staying up which usually will with volley we're going to come over here and grab salvo so your next multi shot or volley now also applies explosive shot up to two tar two additional targets right so that's going to be really good with volley and multi shot so like i said with that 45 second go with death chakrams explosive shot salvo and volley you're gonna have some really good aoe damage every 45 seconds so that's pretty huge for timing keys now obviously you want true shot this is your main burst and then we're going to come over here and grab unearing vision so while true shot is active you gain one percent critical strike chance and two percent crisp increased 
critical damage dealt every one second stacking up to 10 times so this is really good for your boss fights and you also want to use burst during uh small pulls too if you know your burst will be up right before you get to the boss you want to use your burst um when it's off cooldown as long as you have it when you are doing the boss right for the last main talent wind runner's guidance each wind arrow fired reduces the cooldown of rapid fire by 0 0.5 seconds and every eight wind arrows fired increases the duration of your next true shot one second stacking up to 10 times so you want to get this really good so when you're doing the boss fight you'll have 28 seconds of true shot with the max stacks and with an earring vision or eagle talents true focus excuse me because you get to three additional seconds so you have a maximum of 28 seconds in true shot during the boss fight so that's huge 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 oh and then another thing lone wolf right you don't want to be using a pet this is another huge talent you just want that to do as much damage as possible you don't really need a pet in mythics there's not really any utilization for it uh because you're not even grabbing sack and you don't need master's call so you really don't want to be running a pet you want that 10 percent extra damage from lone wolf so that's going to do it for the hunter talents and the marksmanship talents let's go into the staff priority now for stats so i have a lot of pvp gear still like i said i just started doing pve again and i've only done a 15 key as of right now i'll probably do a 17 key tonight but what I'm thinking the stats are going to be, you want to focus on crit, haste, then mastery. You want 0% verse. You don't want any verse for PvE. I'm a PvE -er, or PvP -er, excuse me. So verse is a main stat. So I got to get used to that. So you don't want any verse. You want to focus on crit, haste, and mastery. Haste and mastery can kind of be like this. And crit is probably going to be, you want to shoot for the highest for mythic dungeons to do that get that crit effectiveness chance while you're ricocheting and doing it as much AOE damage as possible with aim shot, rapid fire, and multi-shot and your explosive shot, right? So you want to focus on those stats and no verse. You'll probably have like 2% verse around there you want to shoot for, but try to get every piece of gear without verse if possible because it's just not that great in PvE. We're going to go over the enchants and the gems. So like I said, I still have a lot of PvP gear. So my gems are PvP based. So they have mastery and verse. That's not what you want to do, right? You want to get crit and haste and mastery. But mostly you want to be gemming and enchanting crit and haste. So for your head, you're going to get crit gems, crit and haste. And then for your back, you want to get the enchant that does avoidance. And then you can get accelerated agility for your chest or like waking stats. And then you want avoidance for your wrist. High intensity thermal scanner for your weapon still and then shadow clasp belt for your belt is a uh, pretty normal for pp and pve because it just gives you stamina and then you can throw 177 agility and 131 stamina on your legs that's gonna be the fierce fierce armor kit and then you're over here you're gonna throw a watcher's loom on your boots and then just stack crit or haste probably haste for the enchant on the ring and then for the gem if you have slots for gems probably throw crit and haste as well that's going to do it for the gems and enchants now we can go over the set bonus so this you want to run four set i think it's just uh, you want to run four set for marksman hunter and pve so your two set rapid fire deals a 20 percent additional damage trick shot causes your rapid fire to launch a volley for six seconds dealing 100 percent of the normal damage so that's really good for your aoe and as long as volley is active you're going to have trick shot with the talents that we are running and then for your four set, every 10 focus you spend has a 3% chance to reset the cooldown of rapid fire and cause your next rapid fire to shoot 100% additional shots during this channel. So when you get that 100% additional shots, make sure you have trick shot up and then you're going to do an insane, insane amount of AOE damage in these mythic pluses, right? Now that we've gone over the marksman talents, the hunter talents, the stat priority and the enchant and gems and the set bonus, we are going to go over the rotation for the last thing in this video alrighty so we have no pet for that we have lone wolf up here for that 10 percent dam increase with no pet so we we're just gonna burst this is five targets this is like our max damage is gonna be obviously with a little more targets your explosive shot will explode but it does um on all the targets but it does reduce damage but five targets is where your damage is gonna be the best so we're gonna go quickly go over the rotation like a burst rotation on a big mob so we are gonna Start off with Serpent Sting to get all those Serpent Stings on, the three Serpent Stings with Hydra's Bites. 
And then we're going to pop burst, true shot, salvo, explosive shot, death shockums, volley. You're going to hit rapid fire, spam aim shot twice. And then we got the 10 stacks of multi shot. We hit that twice as well. And then we hit rapid fire again, spam aim shot. Then we can spam multi shot. As well, you can see what I'm doing down here as well. And we always want to make sure we have trick shot available to get the most amount of damage as possible. So that was about 600k DPS. Right, so it's pretty, pretty good. So you just want to be focusing on explosive shot and rapid fire and aim shot and making sure that it's ricocheting onto as many targets as possible. And using your multi shot when you have that 10 stacks of bullet storm. And obviously you have like the see, let's reset. And you have this 45 second go. So you hit salvo, death chalkums, explosive shot into volley, and then you spam rapid fire. Right? This is just like a 45 second go. See, almost 600k DPS on a 45 second go, right? Right there, I had my fucking proc, but I didn't have true shot or trick shot up, so I didn't get the the bounce, 100% additional damage. But that's gonna do it for the basic rotation in these mythic pluses. Let me know in the comments if you guys have any questions. I will answer every question, so just feel free to ask. The talent import will be in the description, and yeah, that's gonna do it for the video. If you guys liked the video, hit the like, comment and subscribe and i appreciate it and i'll see you guys in the next one peace